morning, everybody. It is, what is it? It is the 24th of October 2017. Today, I know I say this every single video, there is a lot to do, three things in particular. First thing is to do with this, it's my ITX PC. It's got some pictures on it from around about a year ago that I still haven't edited. I need to do that, um, so I'll get the pictures off that, put it on a portable SSD, um, and then edit them with this Logitech Craft keyboard that I want to write up a review for Trusted Reviews. It's got this little twisty dial thing here and it changes depending on the application you're using. So Photoshop, it will change. I need to do the testing in Photoshop. Number two though is to do with this. It is the Sony Xperia XZ1 Compact. And I'm really liking it so far, but I need to actually do some proper testing of the camera. So we'll be going to London and testing that. But the final thing, and let's be honest, the thing that I've probably titled this video to make it sound more interesting is that NVIDIA are putting on a event in London today and I've been invited so I'm going to go down there and see what it's all about. Step one is done. That wasn't really the difficult bit. Um, still got to write the review obviously and then actually edit the photos, otherwise we won't have anything to write about. But we just need to get to London now, because to be honest, it's just taking a little bit too long, and I'm always a little bit late. So this is the selfie camera from the XZ1 Compact. It's ultra wide, and I have to say, I really like it. I don't think the image quality is going to be the absolute best out there. Obviously it's a selfie camera limited to 1080p anyway, but it's so wide you can get, just get so much in the frame and there's an option to crop it as well if you want like a normal selfie. Not sure how it's gonna be in low light. We'll be testing that. I don't think it'll be that great, but just for out and about stuff, fantastic. Sorry to interrupt, but just published this video, it seems to be going down very well. Other than this, and if this is gonna continue, we're gonna have a serious problem. And I mean, the thing that's so frustrating about this whole demonetization thing is that they don't tell you why. I mean, it's a video about first, per it's not even about first person shooters, it's about frames a second, FPS. So clearly it's one of the tags or something like that, but it's really, really strange and I'm trying not to let it get me down that much, to be honest, because I'm on the way to the NVIDIA event. It's the first thing I've been invited to, but it is pretty off-putting, to be honest with you. We're back, and this probably looks really lame, but I've always wanted to do the spinny chair thing, so I guess we're, we'll see how it looks. NVIDIA, just got back then from the event, and the thing that is so interesting about it is because it really hits home with me over what they're trying to do. So what this is, is it's going to be game streaming to PCs and Mac from their cloud services. At the moment it's just Mac, so it's going to be an open beta starting now. But what the service is really aimed to do is give people that already have a gaming PC access to their Steam library and stream it from the cloud, no matter where you are with any laptop, any internet connection. And I know what you're thinking, well, streaming is never gonna be as good as the real deal. So what's the latency like? And the good news is that while there definitely is added latency, it's not really that much of a big deal. And to say it's playable is probably an insult because it's a lot better than that. While there definitely was a little bit of extra mouse lag, it's so incredible what you can do, how quickly you can ping a signal from uh, where you are, which was on hotel 
uh, Ethernet all the way to their servers and back and then actually see it on screen with minimal latency. It's not only playable, but it's gonna give you a very good experience. And when you compare it to what you'd be able to do without this service and actually trying to run it on integrated graphics, it would be absolutely terrible. And even mobile graphics still won't really give you anything near the level of capability that this cloud service will. All you need to do is link your Steam account, pay the subscription fee when the service comes out, or in the meantime, until the end of the year, it is completely free in that beta. And then you can just play your existing Steam library anywhere you like. Some of them are optimized, which means that you won't have to change any settings, but then any other game that isn't optimized, you can add yourself. You will just have to do some fiddling to make sure that the settings are optimal for the service. I think that if you are gaming on a Mac or just a slim, ultralight, portable PC, then this could be just the sort of thing you were sort of after, especially as this was all running on hotel internet as well. This wasn't some fancy hookup scenario. This was pretty much as realistic as you're going to get, assuming that you are using that ethernet and not Wi-Fi. But that pretty much wraps it up for the end of this vlog. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm interested to see how it comes out. I never know when I'm filming these things. Let me know what you thought down in the comment section below. And if you're interested in seeing a full review of the Corsair ST100 RGB headphone stand, then I wouldn't hold your breath because it's not going to come, but I'm sure we'll get it featured somehow later on in the channel. A massive thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.